Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to take a look at the Romulan Firehawk. This vessel was developed by the Romulan Star Empire to counter the Excelsior class. It's armed with a plasma torpedo, as you might imagine. It also features Romulan disruptors, which are highly accurate. Not forgetting the cloaking device. As the Firehawk was designed to counter the Excelsior class, it makes sense to go up against one. We know that in this time period, the Excelsior class was extremely powerful. Quite possibly the greatest starship Starfleet ever developed, considering how long they were using them for. For this match, we're going to go against the Enterprise B. Okay, here we go. Let's just hope all of the systems work. The reason I've gone with the Enterprise B is because this was launched in 2293. Oh gosh! Oh no. The Firehawk was launched in 2295. Okay, so it would appear we've lost the warp nacelle. Or did we never even launch with one? Hmm. Now I'm using Bridge Commander Legacy for this battle, as I found the balancing to be superb, and the stability. What's really neat as well is that all of these ship descriptions are complete, including the history of the ship, and I really enjoy reading those. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the Romulans can fire those plasmas. We need to get some distance here. We're way too close. According to the backstory for the Firehawk, it was even used during the Dominion War. That's just crazy. But well, the Excelsior class was, wasn't it? Okay, they've got some hull damage. I mean, we've lost the freaking warp nacelle, but at least they got some full damage. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, good. The left shield is draining, Captain. Okay, come on, hit, hit. Oh yes! Oh no! <laughs> Their top shield has I think it did a bit more damage then. They keep going for that one area, don't they? Luckily we got full power to the shields on that side. That is very fortunate. That never happened. Right, let's turn. Let's hope we survive that onslaught. Oh no! Pull up! Come on! You can take it. Ooh. The shields did their job there, didn't they? Don't, please don't ram! Ooh, that was too close. Okay, we got full shields to the right hand side. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, okay, that grazed our shields. Right, so. Round one to the half Enterprise B. Okay, now it's our turn. I absolutely love playing with the Romulan Plasma Torpedoes. You can have so much fun with them. Now I think this vessel's strength, I mean it does save us in the description, but engaging at long range, so not getting up close and personal. I'm going to watch those torpedoes. Oh dear. We've got no aft weaponry on this ship. Here comes a torpedo. And another. 
dare attack the Romulan Star Empire? Although, to be fair, we probably started it. Oh, we've also got a um, phaser as well. I forgot about that. A forward shield is holding for now. So I try firing from here. Let's do what they did in the uh, <laughs> Balance of Terror episode and see if it works. Yo, oh, got him! <laughs> Ooh, we hit their impulse engines. This could be our way to win, actually. Go after specific subsystems. Yeah, look at that. They keep knocking my disruptors off. Right. They have lost their engines. That's unfortunate for them, isn't it? I'm probably around 12 minutes in now to this battle. And uh, yeah, this... Oh, no. Well, they've not fired the torpedoes, interestingly. Have they run out? Could they have run out of torpedoes? Have they not arrived? Ooh. Right, that was a crippling blow right there. One more torpedo ought to do it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, why am I celebrating? Well, the Enterprise B, the Excelsior class, was clearly the victor there. I'd estimate it took around two and a half times longer to defeat the Enterprise B. The Firehawk put up a good fight though, and I think it's almost as powerful as an Excelsior class, but not quite. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.